the curtains match the drapes. Episode 12 of Trev's trade page here on Trev TV. Imagine that. We're making a trade page video. We haven't done one of those in a long time. Granted, I wasn't going to make this video. I had a complete, I have a completely different video in mind. But I'm not ready to make that one yet. Instead, I'm going to focus on an aspect of something that consumed me for a very long time. Hockey cards. But not mine in specifically more. This is more Melissa's Matt Duchesne slash Nathan McKinnon collection. And the only reason I'm doing both of them in one video is because they're both super small collections. They haven't been added on to... Oh, jeez, I want to say since 2015, maybe 16, I think, when I stopped online trading and buying cards altogether. So, they're tiny in numbers, but they count for something. And I'm counting, I'm talking more than just the Oyos, McKinnon, and Duchesne. More than those. Like, it's mostly cards, but these are probably the only oddballs that are in that entire collection. Having said all that, let's get this one going. So we're winging it today. Apparently, the sports card forum is down right now, and that's where I have the complete checklist of what card is what. And it's down, so I can't really reference anything right now. So we're going to start off the Duchesne collection with the rookies. And I'm going to start off by showing the victory gold. It's a parallel to the victory rookie. Focus. There's that. I might as well show you the victory rookie, right? There you go. Regular in the gold. All we're missing is the black. How about that? Colorado just scored. I'm listening to the game, by the way. Colorado's up 2 nothing now. So, yay. Sticking with the rookies. It's collector's choice. It's not a lot in either collection. Because, because we haven't added to it in a couple years. And that's basically the choice. Like, committed more to family life than to hockey card life. I mean, that's a decision you make in life, really. But, meh, it happens. MVP. If you can't tell, this, dirt, this jersey is a Duchesne, by the way. Trilogy, four ninety nine. These ones always drive the computer or the, the camera phone insane. That's in a nutshell. The rookies. Moving on to some numbered parallels. These ones are always fun, always, because the, you could have so many different versions of one card, like that. That's the base card for thirteen fourteen. The cup, number two forty nine. Then you got its gold cousin, numbered out of 25. So, you see what I mean? You can get many versions of the same card over and over again. And I mean, for chasers, that's a great thing. Numbered out of 999. Yeah. And we'll get to that. Like, I mean, I'm actually coming across one set of numbered cards there infamous for that like the mirror red numbered out of 250 oh camera camera don't like hockey cards apparently but so I'll go along with its platinum cousin number out of 250 I'm not even going to try and focus anymore I don't think oh no that's getting there Followed by the Platinum Red, numbered out of 999. So yeah, there's a lot of numbered cards that a person could have. Certified Potential, numbered out of 500. 
I mean, when I had my Varley collection, it was a lot of numbered parallels. Uh, this one's numbered out of 100. Can't really see that, can you? No, no, you can. If you look hard enough, if you squint, you might see it. But there's more, there's more. I know this is titanium. I don't know what the numbered parallel was uh, was called. Like I said, I'm rusty without sports card form right now. I haven't been in the game for years. And I mean, doing this is really only a matter of satisfying an itch that, you know, I've been having for a little bit. I want to get back into the card hobby. But at the same time, it's like, I know what it can do. I know what it's about. Peachy black border out of 100 what year is that 1314 and because there's so many different versions of one card you get the rainbow chasers and I mean with my Varley collection I was a rainbow chaser I had to be Panini Prime numbered out of 299 Bear with me. Bear with me. Rookie Anthology. Uh, that was numbered out of 100. Ultimate Collection. These, are, these were actually my favorite of the higher end stuff. I entertained the idea of building the sets for about a minute. <laughs> and then I realized that it was just going to be no too much. Uh, this is 1314 Upper Deck Exclusives. Numbered out of 100. Those are the fan some of the fancier numbered parallels, but there's more. I mean, I will get to them eventually. Here's Rainbow Chasing at its finest. I was going to save these ones for later on, but I figured because there's so many of them, I might as well show you some of the, fa the fancier things in different points in succession in the video. So... Here's Melissa's 101s. And what I mean by rainbow chasing, there's a good example. Plate from 1314 score, cyan and magenta. And yeah, Duchesne's on both of them. Pour in there. Pour in there. And of course, you notice there's a Varley on both cards. So I can tell you exactly where these came from if you really want to know. I don't really think it's that important, does it? Uh, 1314 Dominion. 101. It's not funny you run into a Varley card. In a Duchenne collection. Numbered out of 25. Hmm. I wonder how it got there. <laughs> more plates, you say. More plates. Was that a 1213 Prime? It's the yellow plate, apparently. Kind of looks, well, I guess, yeah, in the camera, it looks a lot different. And uh, the other magenta plate, it's in the same card and set. So, yeah, a couple of rainbows started already. 1112 certified, black plate. 101. Very nice. If you enjoyed that one one goodness, you'll enjoy this auto goodness. 910 Ultimate. I believe that's the rookie year. I believe. Quite certain. Quite certain. But I could be wrong. I have been wrong from time to time. 1011 Artifacts. Auto Facts, I think is what they called it. Eleven, twelve, ultimate, ultimate signatures, hard signed. Isn't that beautiful when it's hard signed and not a sticker auto? That's somewhat of the auto auto collection. Some Jersey autos. There's not a lot of them. There's maybe only two that I'm looking at right now that aren't kept in tins. We keep the short prints and higher end stuff in tins. It's Jersey autos. And now moving on to Jersey cards. 
there's a lot more jersey cards than there is anything really and I don't know if that was so much by design or just happened that way this one's numbered out of 599 I mean there was a lot of Number out of 599. There was a lot of trading involved in getting a lot of these jerseys. There was a lot of eBay as well. This one's numbered out of 100, by the way. Hmm. And I think part of the itch of wanting to get back into card trading is to see how much bigger we can make a Duchesne and a McKinnon collection. Because before we stepped away, the Duchesne collection was gaining some traction. And this one's numbered out of 99. It was fun to build another player collection. I've built so many player collections. I mean, you can ask anybody about what the Varlamov collection looked like. Looked like. Meaning, I don't have it anymore. What I, what you see from here on out is what all I've got. As far as, like, player collections or anything like that. I mean, seeing that Varley jersey card again was... The jersey auto was kind of nice. But at the same time, I know a lot of the Varleys in Melissa's collections came from my Varley collection. Sixes. So there's solace in that. This is numbered out of 50. with Lou Cheech. Being, being you live at Edmonton, you kind of have to put up with listening to a lot of the Lou Cheech criticism, man. I mean, you don't fault, right? Thinking you can make a difference? Because that's what you thought, right? That's 1314. I, I know I'm really bad with not saying the years and whatever else. 1415. But like I said, I am rusty right now. I, I haven't been near cards or anything like that for a long time. So seeing all these is kind of like, remember when? It's like, I remember. Now we're getting into goodies. Patches and primes. These are beautiful cards. I'd be remiss if I didn't give a shout out to West Sports Cards for helping me fund and contribute to a lot of the player collections I've collected over the years that I've traded guys online for that have you know, helped me on, on eBay. That's Stasakic and Duchesne, numbered out of 25. Come on, focus. There you go. Some of these patches are really, really nice. Like that one. I mean, it sucks that, you know, you got one basic white out of Hey Duke. But Duchesne's three color. Landskog is like patterned beautifully. Let's go one, two, three, four colors. One, two, three, four, seven breaks. Ugh. Numbered out of 25. That's like a thing of beauty. Just wow. Uh, Number out of 25. It's the authentic five fabric. You got through Shane Landeskog. Stastny, 
Marley Jiggy. And it comes with that authentic authenticity card. It has to. They have to guarantee that it came from where they say it came from. Or you could be in a lot of trouble. Prime Trios. 1314. Very nice. And it's got McKinnon. That's important. Before we get into the really good stuff, I gotta show off the booklets. As in more than one. We got Sakic, Hayduke, Stastny, Varley, Varley, McKinnon, Landeskog, and Duchesne. Or Pickard. Pickard's in there too. So. Yeah, seeing lots of nice McKinnon and Duchesne, which is a nice tie-up to the collection, kind of keeps it full circle. National Treasures. That's it for the booklet. Like this guy. Number three out of five. I believe that was from Mo. Hey Mo, if you're watching, I hope you are. That'd be awesome for work. Mm. No, we'll save that guy for last. Remember that Fives jersey I showed you? Here's the patch version of it. <coughs> Excuse me. But I can tell you where that came from. From Trev's collection. Playing trios. Uh, is it 1314 SPX? Very nice. That's 11, 12. And it's number 13 out of 25. But beautifully hard signed. Beautifully. Wait, there's more. Cut patches. I mean, it's not the most beautiful patch, but it is a beautiful signature. Cup enshrinements. Very nice. 910, be a player. Rookie jersey, numbered 9 out of 50. At the time, that was his jersey number. Now it's 95. But still. McKinnon nice. collection is not as deep or flashy, if you want to call it that, as the McK as the Duchesne collection. But I will show you, start off with the rookies. Anyway. Skybox Prospects, number at 299. And then you got your basic low-end rookies that everybody, I'm sure, has at least or had at least one at some point. Score. PP. And over time. The Yakupov. I can tell you where that came from. Dress collection. Because Dress collected Yakupov once upon a time. Ultimate rookies. With Barkov and Jones, numbered out of 65. But the neatest thing. That bonds this these two collections together, the Duchesne and the McKinnon. Is that one on one MVP. 1415. Melissa bought that off Mo. Mo, another shout out. Giving you shout outs, buddy. All day. <laughs> so that is a very nice card. If I do say so myself. That was Melissa's Duchesne and McKinnon collection. I want to thank you for tuning in.
your viewership always means so much always has always will yeah my first trade page video in a long time so <laughs> it won't be the last i guarantee i'll make more hopefully i'll you know line up some busts and break some cards and show you what i can get all that's fun stuff like i said i had a video in mind for tonight it wasn't going to be this one but i'm glad i made this one um but if you like this video hit the like button if you didn't hit the thing, hit the didn't like it's all good Feel free to subscribe if you want to. I know the goal to 50 is still on. We're 14. We're getting there. <laughs> you can find me on Facebook at Trev's TV. You can find me on Instagram at Rockstar Trev TV. Uh, I might finish that video. I might put it up. We'll see. Um, I'm just kind of covering all the bases on it first before I do anything. I mean, I don't want to offend anybody. <laughs> Uh, but guaranteed there's more hockey videos coming this month. I guarantee it. Um, I know I'm planning a video for the 19th. Was it the 19th? I think it was the 19th. I'm planning on putting a video out then. Um, other than that, be on the lookout for more videos from Trev. Later.